Howdy friends and welcome back to Toy Box Nostalgia. I'm Douglas. In this video we are going to be unboxing and reviewing and taking a very close look the absolute brand new 2024 Mattel He-Man and the Masters of the Universe cartoon collection Clawful. That's right my friends, Clawful is now available at Walmart and Target on the pigs. Spike Ore is supposed to be part of this wave, but I have yet to find Spike Ore. Out in the wild, I did find them on eBay for a very reasonable price. If you're looking to pick up the cartoon collection Spike Ore and you can't find them in the wild, I highly recommend checking them out. But this is a crazy awesome action figure, very cartoon accurate. <laughs> I just, it looks amazing in the package. Clawful's kind of a badass. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but he is incredibly strong. He could go toe to toe with He Man, and he does in the episode that this is kind of based off of well his accessories based off of it he comes with the horn of evil uh that's from the episode driel's return i just watched it you could watch it here on youtube if you wanted to and it's not that bad of an episode it's kind of cool other strange thing about this is that trap jaw is in that episode and he's the one that actually blows the horn of evil and he's also available uh, on the pigs as the fan favorite. So if you want to recreate that scene, you totally can. I'm pretty sure we have everyone except the sorceress. The sorceress was in that episode also. She was overcome by the evil that comes out of the horn uh, when Trapjaw is peer pressured by Clawful into blowing it at Castle Grey. They, they just like waltz right up to Castle Grayskull and Clawful's like, just blow the horn. And Trapjaw's like, eh. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. And he's like, just do it or I'm going to use my claws as a can opener. So yeah, he's very smart too. And he was described by Skeletor as his most trusted henchman, though I'm fairly certain that he would turn on Skeletor in a heartbeat. He wants to rule the evil warriors for himself. He's very smart, very powerful. And this action figure looks fantastic. Wait till you see this. If you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you'd love to see more content like this, show up into your YouTube newsfeed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It truly helps out the channel. If you enjoy the content of this video, if you're just a fan of the Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man uh, cartoon collection from the Filmation series, give me a thumbs up. And drop a comment below letting me know if you're going to be picking up this action figure, or if you already have and you took toy photos of it, send me some links, I'd love to see them. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Give me about 10 seconds to set the stuff up. I'm going to catch you after this quick break. All right, here he is, my friends. Before we dive in and rip this open, let's take a one quick look at the packaging. We've seen this multiple times here on the channel. Up here at the top left, we have 80s Adventures. He-Man, the Masters of the Universe, which is in high gloss. Everything else is pretty much a semi-gloss. Says Clawful, warrior with the grip of evil. Very cool, we get that Club Grayskull beautiful painting in the background and the beautiful galaxy and the swirls, the Milky Ways, like everything you see there. Six plus, and down here says Mattel, and we get that really cool clear sticker right there on the bubble, says Cartoon collection very very cool the action figure looks amazing and just look at his stance i don't know why they package them in this weird squatting position maybe it's so they they mattel can reuse this bubble like for the masters of the universe origin stuff that actually makes sense flipping over to the back we have this really awesome picture right here so i'm pretty sure the sorceress has been announced or leaked uh, so we can recreate this picture if we wanted to minus castle grayskull that's one thing I truly hope that Mattel considers giving us is a Castle Grayskull that is cartoon accurate for the Filmation series for this toy line. We need that, Mattel. Like, if you're for some reason listening, please consider giving us that Castle Grayskull. That would look fantastic. It would probably have to be pretty large, too. As you see here, the scale. Take a look at the Sorceress sticking out of this window. You know, it's kind of big, but this is the black glittery smoke. They came out of the Horn of Evil. As I said right here, Trapjaw was definitely peer pressured into blowing into that horn at Castle Grayskull. We do get a comic book and we get this little blurb right here, modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe animated series. Cartoon collection, we have our cross sale here. We have all of these now. Uh, again, Spike Ore is kind of hard to find for me. We do have two of the uh, action shots here. He can hold on to the Horn of Evil. Uh, and he could get it pretty close to his mouth, 
because of the way that the the claws actually articulate it's kind of weird and then twist into powerful battle positions mattel empowering generations through play love that and then here's the barcode in case you need it let's go ahead and tear this open Okay, so here's everything that we get in the package, my friends. We do get a comic book, we get instructions, we get one single accessory, we get the action figure, and we get the, you know, obviously the packaging. One thing I have to mention is that the episode that this is based off of, as I mentioned, the top of the video, Driel's Return. Driel is like Orko's girlfriend. Maybe it's like a long-distance relationship. She lives on a different planet, and she comes to Eternia from this pyramid-shaped device that I'm pretty sure Orko gave to her. But I have to mention that in the episode, you'll see something very strange. Clawful actually holds Orko in the palm of his claw. That's right. It's very strange. <laughs> and it's like, like, what is the scale here? Like, what is the scale they were going for? Because I don't remember Orko being that small. I really, really hope that we get a cartoon version of Orko. Because even though the original Origins version of Orko is kind of cartoon accurate the scale isn't like this this dude is huge look how big this is compared to uh like clawful like he he does look like he would fit but again in that episode clawful's holding him in the claw so i'd say that the scale is more close to maybe the attorney of minis version or maybe the dollar tree version this was the dollar tree uh orco that came out a while back and yeah, one of these, like this one's way more cartoony and almost chibi looking, whereas this one looks more like from the cartoon. But again, look, he, he definitely wouldn't be able to hold that Orko, uh, especially because the claw doesn't articulate. When we go to take a toy photo at the end of this video, I'm probably going to have to cut the thumb piece off of both of these sides and then maybe use uh, sticky tack or something to, you know, make the claw wrap around. And I think I might use this one, but I'm not 100% sure. I really like the way this one looks. Um, <laughs> but as you see, like, even if he's, he's, he's holding this one, actually, this one does look good. We'll use this one. Let's take a look at the instructions here. I'm going to move over to this side because my camera keeps focusing on He-Man's face over here. <laughs> uh, but we can remove the head, you know, swapping and removing parts, as it says up here. We can remove the arms and the shoulders. We can remove the hands. They are definitely on pegs and the wrist. We can break the action figure apart at the waist. And then we can remove the feet and the shins at the boot cut right there for swapping parts. Here is the comic book. It's called Honor Amongst Thieves, right? And we definitely have all of these in cartoon version except Stinkor. How cool would it be to get a Stinkor? I'm guessing if they're showing him here, they're definitely hinting that he is in fact coming. But I'm going to open this up. And oh, there's Clamp Champ also. And I'm going to try to zoom on this a little bit in case you want to pause it and read it but i know for a fact you could probably find this somewhere online like high res scans maybe at toy habits or something yeah take a look at that very cool we could see spike or actually blowing into the horn of evil that's really awesome skeletor looks awesome in this book i love the way that they draw skeletor because he's kind of like cartoon accurate but has a lot more detail uh just super cool <laughs> Yeah, this looks all. Take a look at that. That's awesome. Very, very cool. I love the artwork here. And I can't wait to get to all of these. You know, I'm really hoping Orko shows up. Clamp Champ looks awesome. And we can, you know, in toy photographs or even just on your display and shelves, you want to recreate some of these scenes, right? On the back, we do have a cross sale and we now have all of these. Let's take a look at the accessories first. That's right. We only get one. And this is, in fact, the Horn of Evil. And it looks like something like a funnel web spider would make. Very creepy looking, but has a really awesome looking skull on it. Take a look at that skull. It has fangs, right? And like angry eyes. I love whenever people draw skulls and they have an expression rather than just like stupid skull, like a human <laughs> skull without an expression. You know, actually skulls look like they're sad to me. Uh, like basic human skulls. But anyways, we see that this is a separate piece. It's kind of like glued on, but it does not come off. And down inside there, you can see, like, there's just nothing. Like, this looks really awesome. <laughs> and this truly is what this looked like in the cartoon. Now, let's take a look at the action figure details, my friends. Take a look at that head sculpt. Have you seen a Clawful head sculpt from the Filmation Clawful before? Because I haven't. I don't know if there was a Club Grayskull version or not. This is the only one that I have. And this is perfect. To me, this is flawless. I don't see any flaws in the paint. 
The paint's fantastic, right? The teeth even look great. You could see the tongue inside there. Just absolutely phenomenal to me. This is the, you know, the armor that he's wearing is one solid piece. It doesn't snap off or anything. So to get this armor off, I'm pretty sure you have to remove the head and the arms and actually just the arms and the waist is what you have to remove. And then you just kind of pull these down and then pull the piece off. One thing you may have noticed about the armor is that it is bigger than the torso. This belt piece right here sits below the torso and kind of fits in the groove of the actual belt that he's wearing with his loincloth. Very cool. We have the Masters of the Universe cartoon collection version of the bicep and muscles here with the, you know, the forearms and the legs and the thighs. Everything matches up perfectly. These boot tops right here are definitely the boot tops that we got from Skeletor, just in an orange color. He is wearing bracelets. I guess they're bracelets. Uh, and they, the orange, it, you know, to my eye in person, matches flawlessly with this orange and this orange here. Looks absolutely awesome. The loincloth and the belt are just blue. And the color palette is awesome. Like, this is, this is definitely, like, a really nice, cartoon-accurate clawful that's on the pegs in the stores. And I love the fact that they can stand straight up because they are a cartoon collection. Oh, Mattel. I'm very happy that they did that. Let's go ahead and take this piece off. I'm going to show you how this works. So, again, you don't have to remove the head. You just got to remove the arms. We're going to remove the, the bottom piece here. And as you see right there, it does sit below the actual torso. To get this off, you just kind of pull this down like this. The reason why I know this is because this is the second time I'm recording this video. I actually already recorded this video uh, without my microphone turned on. So, that's kind of cool. That's the way things have been going for me lately. Uh, but take a look at this piece. This is one solid piece. It kind of feels like silicone, to be honest with you. It's very, very, very soft. They're very, like, a very soft, pliable rubber. And this piece right here, I'm not sure if it's another piece or not. I'm guessing it is just because of how flawless that paint job is. That looks perfect. Absolutely Perfect. This piece is so cool. Let's take a, a peek at what Clawful looks like without his armor on. Yeah, and that's what he's going to look like without armor on, right? Typical, like, Masters of the Universe action figure, insanely buff. Look how, <laughs> look how buff this guy is. He has 0% body fat because he's probably some sort of crab creature. Uh, but yeah, you could get a much better look at that belt. It's definitely the Filmation-style belt that they're going for. Very, very cool. Let's take a look at what it says there on the back. 2023 Mattel. Yeah, so this buck's probably just reused on a lot of different cartoon collection style action figures. Uh, just, just definitely repainted uh, to make it this really awesome blood deep maroon red color. Let's take a look at articulation, my friends. So let's start with the head. You know, this is going to be Masters of the Universe origin style articulation. So we do get really good head tilt. Uh, he doesn't look up very well, and it's not because of the frill or the fringe he's got right here, which is glossy. That is very glossy. Uh, it's because of the sculpt, like the head back here. There's no cutout here, and as you can see, it presses against the neck. Uh, but he can look down really well. So if he's kicking, he's going to see where he's kicking, which is very cool. Um, moving down to the arms, as you saw, they're on a peg, Masters of the Universe origin style peg. And the peg hole points downwards towards the pelvis. We do have a, a really big hinge on there. Uh, so kind of to make up for the lack of the uh, bicep cut, you know, you could kind of move the arm around a little bit, uh, but you're not going to get like arms out to the side accuracy uh, with the bicep pointed upwards, unfortunately. Uh, so moving down to the elbow, it's on a peg, as we see here, and there's a hinge. This ratchets. Moving down to the hand, it's on a peg, Masters of the Universe origin style peg, and the hinge goes this way. That's kind of kind of a goofy choice. Uh, maybe it's so that you can articulate the wrists uh, to bring that, you know, bring that horn up to his face. You know, the horn of evil. See, just like this. Like if he if it moves any other way, you wouldn't probably wouldn't be able to get that up to his face. So I think that's why Mattel chose to do the hinges that way. Uh, moving down to the waist, this is on a peg as we saw. Masters of the Universe origin style peg looks very good. So we see there, so we could get the 360 spin, no problem at all. Moving down to the pelvis, we have the barbell style peg inside there with the 
ball joints inside there and we move um you know he can do really nice kicking poses you know you could get some really good range of articulation from this moving down to the knee it's on a peg as you see here we could spin 360 but there's also a hinge and not only that we do have the cutout here in the back of the thigh so we can get you know the the leg up pretty far good range of articulation very cool moving down to the boot cut it swivels because it's on a peg this one says L because it's his left foot and we can see the peg right there, Masters of the Universal Origin style peg, so that we can in fact swap parts if we wanted to. Moving down to the foot, we have rockers on the feet and we have a hinge. So, you know, he can stick his toes out if he wants to. I love that uh, Mattel has been adding in the rockers because that's very cool. Like you get into a battle position, if you want to twist him into a battle position, as every single one of these action figures says, you're going to want him to stand like this, you know, with his, his legs spread apart, ready to fight. And you want the feet planted on the ground for your display cases or your toy photographs, right, my friends? So that is all of the articulation. That is all of the details. I absolutely love this action figure. I think Mattel nailed it. This is an absolute home run for the cartoon collection because Clawful adds this really awesome screwy palette of colors of like blood red and orange and blue uh that just is going to stand out wonderfully in your cartoon collection action figures uh from mattel for Ma he man the masters of the universe like this is very unique looking i love the teeth the sculpt everything this is a perfect 3d manifestation of what cloth will look like in the cartoon though i feel like he was much much bigger uh, <laughs> when we consider how he was holding Orko, but I would love to know what you all think, so please drop a comment below letting me know what you think of the 2024 Mattel He-Man and the Masters of the Universe cartoon collection Clawful. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and sticking to the end. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your week, my friend, and remember, collect and shoot.